All right, good evening, guys. This is another video um, as we're trying to play around with stuff on the old FiSG 1100 Gateway by uh, Verizon. And I made another mess here with some cables because somebody from Reddit was talking about using, um, removing their, their USG, um, which was in between their cable modem um and their switch and cloud key they were looking to you know remove the usg just use their cable modem directly to their unify switch and have their uh, cloud key on and can they still manage their switch and their access points with inside their network um without having the usg in play so what i just did was i was playing around with this um Right now I can say no, but it's probably because I, I still need to reboot the whole system to get it to work correctly. So what I did was um, I took my Fios line, removed it from here, plugged it right into the uh, G1100 here. Then your LAN out went right into um, one of the LAN ports on the Unify. I left the um land from the usg to still the uplink on port one um and i could still see the usg and i could see everything in the network and i was still getting out to the internet because this was connected um could have been because i was on wi-fi probably um because obviously i was already in the network so what i'm going to do um next to try to get this theory to work um it was pretty interesting that you can obviously, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about this as I'm, I'm talking and going along here. If the LAN on this is still connected to your network, yes, you're going to see this. You're just not going to see the traffic. Um, on the bottom of your uh, Unify app, you're going to see in and out uh, or up and download speed, and it's not going to be there. But it's still going to show the USG that's on the network. Um, that's another proof of concept I'm going to try is will... Uh, running the usg just off of a lan not directly into the wan port turning on deep packet inspection and ids um will this still block traffic if it's not going through the wan port so that's going to be my next proof of concept i'm really interested on seeing if this guy here will still do deep packet inspection not running through the wan port but off of a LAN to um, to Unify switch. Um, that, that, that's I'm curious about that. I don't know if that's been done yet, but I'll play around with that. Um, so what I tried tonight was bypassing this, using the cloud key to try to get into my network, and it wasn't working off the bat. Um, this obviously is 192.68.1.1. That is whatever the IP address shows on it, like 1.232. Um, this one does not have a static IP address. And this guy was 192.68.1.2 because this was in bridge mode. Um, I left this in bridge mode because on my network, I still want to access this um, because this is just being used as a mocha adapter right now um coax in and it's just being used um just to provide some mocha and wireless to one of my set top boxes um red lights on because the wan port is there's nothing there nothing's in the wan port and wireless is on but dhcp server is off on this dhcp was turned on inside the unify network um so when I plugged it in, obviously I got the white light, got connected to the internet. I was up, but I still couldn't see that when I turned my phone on cellular trying to get in the Unify app. So we're going to try that tomorrow, um, play around some more with it. But I want to get this quick video done, get some feedback. Um, give me some suggestions on another way to, to try this out. Uh, I'm thinking that I will disconnect everything up here. So my access points, this dumb switch, Sonos, take everything off. 
because um, my settings are still saved in here. So if I take this off, run um, the uplink to the LAN off of here, Fios uh, from the ONT to the WAN on this one. And the only thing I'll have on this is I'll have my um, hardwired computer. So I have I'll have a hardwired computer hooked up to this. And then for me to try to get into um, this guy here, I will use um, cellular from my phone here to try to get into um, from the Unify app to that that cloud key. Um, and then I will post a quick update on um, uh, back here on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Uh, if anybody's done this, I'm pretty sure it's been done. I'm guessing right now, and I'm almost 100% positive right now, it's because this guy was needing to be reset back to factory settings because I changed some of the settings just to make this a Mocha bridge for me. And um, these guys were still set up in the Unify app as, as a network. So if I was to reboot these guys with this being a DHCP server, this should reassign an IP and everything off of that, um, should allow this to be the DHCP server versus this group right here, um, running the DHCP license server, uh, via the cloud key. That's just what I'm guessing. We will uh we'll touch base back on this tomorrow.